Welcome to the Great Basin Prescribed Fire and Smoke Transport Briefing for Wednesday, May 22nd. Currently, we have some fire activity across the Great Basin, still some prescribed fire, and especially the higher elevations, and then some smaller fires in the red and yellow circles popping up around the region, mostly in the lower elevation grasses. Over the last one to two weeks, precipitation has mainly been fo focused over the eastern half of the Great Basin, and we still have some storms moving in this week. However, dry conditions have continued from southwest Idaho into much of Nevada really over the last one to two weeks. And even precipitation further east has mostly been below normal. We have had some new snowfall and we'll see some additional new snowfall with storms moving through this week, especially up in central Idaho. But recently over the last three days, we've had light amounts of snowfall in the highest elevations of Idaho and even parts of northern Utah and in the central mountains. The snow depth is indicated on the right, and you can see from the snowpack, still above normal for Nevada and Utah down into northern Arizona, but the snow does continue to melt, and we're certainly nowhere near where we were last year at this time with respect to snowpack. Up north, the snowpack has dropped to below normal across Idaho, and is generally between about 70 and 75 percent of normal. Our satellite loop from this morning shows a trough of low pressure moving into Washington, and this will swing east and south into the northern half of the Great Basin. So some cloud cover and some showers already ongoing ahead of the system, and that will continue mainly across Idaho and Wyoming, and then possibly down into far northern Utah as well. Otherwise, southern and western areas of the Great Basin will remain sunny and dry. So for later today, again, that system continues to track south and east with most of the moisture up north and drier conditions down south. We will see good dispersion across the region as winds will be fairly gusty as this system continues to track east. And you can see really over all areas of the Great Basin, we will see wind gusts above 30 or 35 miles per hour with the exception of the far south. Otherwise, mixing heights remain generally high. Temperatures today will be generally near or just above normal in the far south, but below normal up north as that system tracks eastward across the northern half of the Great Basin. So highs will only reach the 50s or 60s in the far north and mostly 70s and 80s in other areas of the basin. Relative humidity will remain below 15% across much of the southern two-thirds of Nevada and Utah and in the single digits in the far south. Otherwise, higher humidity with those showers and cooler temperatures moving across Idaho into Wyoming. By tomorrow, the system is well to the east, but still some lingering moisture across the Great Basin and otherwise good dispersion with gusty winds, but we will see some weaker winds over the western side of the Great Basin. And you can see that here with generally light winds over western Nevada, and most of those gustier winds continue over the eastern half of Utah. So it could be some downslope winds there in the central mountains, and also some breezy winds up north in Idaho and Wyoming. Mixing heights remain high. Temperatures will still remain cool, but will be a little bit warmer, a few degrees warmer on Thursday than they will be today up across Idaho as that system tracks eastward, but a little bit cooler across Utah. Relative humidity will also be kicked up a notch over northern Utah and, and Nevada and remain higher across Idaho and Wyoming. Even down south, we'll see less single digits. So we move into Friday, another system moves into the Pacific Northwest, and this will be our last system for at least several days across the Great Basin on Friday and Saturday. So still pushing some moisture across much of the northern two-thirds of Nevada into Utah and into Idaho as well. Otherwise, good dispersion, so another round of gusty winds, and we will see those winds breeziest over parts of Idaho and then into central areas of the Great Basin and down south. Otherwise, mixing heights remain high. And you can see temperatures still a little bit warmer before that system moves in, so we will see generally near normal temperatures across the Great Basin, and those drier conditions will be across western Nevada down into the far south, but most of the relative humidity will remain above 10%. Our three-day forecast precipitation with these two systems moving through, the heaviest precipitation will be into central Idaho and western Wyoming, and definitely some new snowfall. There are some winter weather, winter weather advisories in effect, so new snowfall for the higher elevations, and otherwise some lighter showers and some, could see some thunderstorms further south into central and northeast Nevada into northern Utah. But those rainfall amounts will generally be on the lighter side, with still those dry conditions over western Nevada and down into southern and eastern areas of the Great Basin. As we move into the weekend, this system moving into the Pacific Northwest on Friday will track eastward over the northern half of the Great Basin on Saturday. Still good dispersion. And then the system exits on Sunday with ridging building in Monday and Tuesday next week for warmer and drier conditions region-wide. 
Temperatures will fluctuate from near to just below normal over the next several days with these systems, but then we'll start to peak about 5 to 10 degrees above normal going into early next week with this ridge. So the precipitation accumulation from Saturday through Monday, you can see with the second system Friday and Saturday, most areas seeing some light precipitation with the exception of the far south and far west. Heavier precipitation again in central Idaho, possibly even northern Utah into southeast Idaho and Wyoming. And then as we move into early next week is where we'll see the drier conditions region wide and then the seven day total precipitation. Looking at the latter part of May going into the first week of June, right now models are showing a very strong ridge developing along the west for above normal temperatures and dry conditions. And we'll continue to watch this. We could see temperatures 10 to 15 degrees or more above normal, depending on the strength of the ridge. So could see um, very hot temperatures going into that first week in June. And that will certainly push the curing of the fuels for that first week. So that'll be something we'll be watching. And again, would expect with as the fuels cure more and we see those hot temperatures continuing to increase with our smaller fires in the basin. That concludes our webcast for today. Check back on Friday for the latest updates.